Here we go, we're recording. Ooh. San Francisco. Dungeon Sessions. <laughs> and we are back. We're Welcome back. to the Epicenter for those who are just tuning in right now. And we're back. Yes, sir. Time to put on that music. Yeah. Oh, let me go with it a little bit. No, just do it. We are like kind of freestyling a little bit. The show kind of did start, but not really. <laughs> this is the show. The show is going on now. We are the show. Everywhere we go, we're the show. Okay? 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 Okay. Um, but if, like I was explaining before, um, the show has actually been around since a little before 2009, actually in development. Since 2008, 2009, um, now it's it's been spoken about in every b-boy affiliated circles, like about like where b-boy is going as far as like you know industry. You know what I mean? Um, and there's so many different aspects and so many different opportunities nowadays, and what's kind of lacking is the purity aspect and um you know it's always hard to kind of like you can't really sell b-boy in your hip-hop not really not not the culture of the essence you can't really sell it it can only be shown displayed and taught um you can't really sell it so of course industry has its way of trying to make money off of people and that's just what it is that's what the industry is about it's making money off of people Unlike what we're doing, we're doing something that's quality production where we're on a shoestring budget. You know what I mean? Very shoestring. <laughs> Very shoestring, but understanding how to like run a production. That's the big main key to unlocking all this, like, you know, because it could be, there, there's a way, um, the purity aspect of what hip hop can be shared on a mass level. Right. Um, and and, and it, it probably would involve some industry, but as long as you're just a dancer, um, you're not gonna, you know, I'm just gonna like join this local competition, or I'm just dancing for the girls. Um, that's not where we're coming from. That's not how we look at it. I mean, these things are part of it, but these are just a few little pieces to this big puzzle of why, what drives someone like Cool Herc to keep doing what he's doing, or what drives, you know, Immortal Technique to keep doing what he's doing, or what drives fucking Jerry Seinfeld to keep doing what he's doing. It doesn't have to be hip-hop, it's just, we have that drive to, to bring out programming that's like, this is the scene, this is the culture. But you want to see the competition and heavy duty comp? You can still see that, but at the same time, you get the purity. And like, the hardest thing is with the copyrights and stuff yeah. like that. And you know, but and, that's, and you know, the, what the show brings is a, a perspective of the inside scoop. You know, not not from the outside, not from like you know, other movies that's coming out soon. You know, they're trying to get the inside perspective, but they have to blitz it up for people. Yeah. We're trying to like give it the real and give it to the real to the people that aren't B boys and to the people that are B boys, they already know the deal, but we're just helping you guys we're we're helping you guys have a voice to the general public. Right. And that's why we have the open chat. Right. You know, you could have you could you could go on the Facebook Epic Center uh, Facebook page, ask us questions, right. personal questions or whatever that yeah. is, you know what I mean? Yep. So there's like a lot of things like that you know, because of technology now, we have access to, so that's what we're pushing. We have access to it, it's affordable, and we could broadcast ourselves, and, you know what I mean, we've been, we've been doing this for 20 years plus now, and like, 
especially with production. Like I, I remember starting off with two boom boxes, you know what I mean, and and taping shit, you know, getting a mix, making our own mixtapes. Uh, dubbing over videos and so it's just like I've been doing this since I was a kid and I, I kind of understand what's quality production like I said before and I want to just keep pushing that but with 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 knowing getting to really know the artists getting to know not just as a talent but as a voice you know what I mean as a resource you know as, as a source of leadership too so yo I want to give a few shouts out uh, to the people out in the rooms we got Manny from LA who does portraits he just did one of your ski. Yo, hitting up the Netherlands. Oh, Manny yo, that guy Netherlands. is fucking dope, yo. Yeah. Yo, that guy we got dope. my man Just man. Do It, Nick, over at Eindhoven, Netherlands. Thanks for taking care of me. Uh, he took my workshop in London. Dopey boy. Humble guy. Uh, giving a shout out to Christopher Woon, a.k.a. Paper Sun, a.k.a. Paper Moon. <laughs> Paper Moon. All right, let's let me let me do something. We got Bushwick Joe in the house. Bushwick Joe, Brooklyn, he killed it, man. I'm telling you, you know, you if you were there, that was to me that was a historical time in the Bronx, and for you know you should have seen Ness and what he said. I don't want to repeat it because I don't want to bust him out, but you know what? I'm a Bronx nigga. And that's all he said. There's more, you know, there was more to that. But when he was just like, I'm a Bronx nigga. But seeing Bushwick Joe, I was like, damn. You know what I mean? That was like love. That was love. Not trying to put you on the spot, Ness. You know what I'm saying? But yo, like Joe really killed it. <laughs> he really killed it, guys. I mean, I'm, I mean, to me, you know, breaking rock. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, we all know it comes from New York. You know, we we, we treat it as a sophisticated culture as it is. And there's a prehistory too, so to me it's just like, to me it's the same, but you know, to look at things technically is, is a part of the game. It's a part of the game, but then when you break free of all like, this is rock, this is breaking, you know what? I'm going to just be honest with myself and just learning what it is for myself. It doesn't even matter that it has a name like breaking a rock, mm -hmm. but when we get into competition, these things, these voc vocabularies, definitions are very important. So it's a way to, to kind of like go beyond those things to represent you. And you're representing those things you right. learned from that. You know right. what I'm saying? Let's go Let's go back to the shout outs. Giving a shout out to Proof Squishy Doshis. What's up, brother? Squishy Doshis. You like Squishy Doshis, man. Yeah, oh man, for sure. This is crazy because... We're cut. This episode of the Dungeon Editions is kind of crazy because, you know, this is the first time we're, like, airing it from Rob's room. <laughs> PJ slept in that big, that bed right there. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to switch I, things up a little bit. Yeah, it's, I know it's a lot different from uh, when we were in, uh, what was it, uh, not, is it USB? Wait. Open line media Open a little line. bit. Yeah. We had commercial breaks while the commercial breaks are automatic here. And you kind of miss some of the show. Sorry about that, guys. But that's what happens when it's a free stream. You know what I mean? People got to make money somehow. So This is dedicated to my Brooklyn cats. Like I said, to me, music, there's no difference. It's just the way you present it. I had an incredible trip in New York in my, you know, when I, for my summer, my summer vacay. My summer vacay was crazy in Europe. Again, giving a shout out to everyone that took care of me, starting in Slovenia, Dijon, and uh, at Break of the Floor. Give a shout out to Zubier and Casper and Runatoon in France. Give a shout out to Ocean, to Spin. Shout out to Rock Hill. <laughs> To, to, uh, to K the Cambridge boys, Rupert and James, uh, to Eric, Daniel, Justin, of course, Floor Gangs, Just Rock, and Manchester. Giving a shout out to Tyrone for taking care of me at a uh, World B-Boy Classic. Dope jam. Dope jam. World, World B-Boy Classic is the truth. Uh, giving a shout out to Andrea Mausa in Italy, a hip-hop connection. 
Give a shout out to Fabio at Fluid Away in Rome. They took care of me over there. Giving a shout out to uh, Taka, Aziz, Sambo for, in Belgium to Team Schmetta guys. What up? Thanks for taking care of me out there. Uh, thanks Big for up Martin. to Baby Huey and the Babysitters. Listen to me. Martin over at uh, Slovakia. Uh, the Outbreak uh, B-Boy Spot in Slovakia. They just opened that. Congratulations. Um, and of course, DJ Woody at Slovenia for cooking me up some good food. Burek is the truth. I'm going to put on this. This is some uh, Chuck and Joe stuff right here, man. And then, uh, where, who else is it? And then finally, over in uh, Amsterdam, you got my man Ian. Uh, Yurski for letting me stay at your place, bro. Thank you. Word, word. Oh, this. And of course, the Flomo guys, and at Cypher Dance Studio in Helsinki, Finland. You guys ready for another clip? Let's go for another clip, shall we? So, I got my hands on some rare footage. Um, Mikey Disco, sorry, I'm not trying to play it out, but... Um, because there's, there's this thing going on uh, with the Bay Area, specifically in the 90s, what was going on in the 90s. So check this out. If you're in Europe, check out the IBE panel, the Bay Area history, oh, dance scene. Polsky, Ross Wright, Machine, yeah. uh, Wacko, Mike, Mikey Disco. and Mikey Disco. But we're going to do our own version right and now. have footage. <laughs> Footage right. of right the now. early 90s dance scene in the Bay Area. Since we can't go to IBE, we're gonna like visit you through the interwebs. <laughs> so check this out. Um, let me put this down. Let me put this down. Oh, break down. Hold on. So, what we're getting into right now, this clip is basically like. Like the Bible for us. Well, not even the Bible, but it was. These are like, the guys that. This was Jesus. It's like for the, us. the genesis yeah. of 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 what, how we got into this whole hip hop thing in the first place, and and it was just in, what these guys led us into our own paths. You know what I mean? Like watching them, and like for even Profo to like conquer what he's conquered in the b-boy world, and for me to push what it is to push for the rock dance world. Um, if it wasn't for these guys, we wouldn't be doing it. So, this is major props. This is something that needs to be seen. Um, yo, G and Bayardo, I'm going to tag yeah. you with this. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. But this is something that's been coming, and this is actually a lot of history. And, I, like, and I'll give you the truth, too. If it wasn't for these guys, a lot of the Korean guys, as far as the power dudes, wouldn't be doing what they're doing. It wouldn't be, honestly, Style Elements, Rock Force, Renegades, if it wasn't for these guys. Right. That I know influenced a lot of you guys out there in, uh, in the Netherlands. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey, I got a commercial. Yeah, huh. Alright, so I'm going to stop this. DJ Push Play, put him to the side. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Hold tight, hold tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See in? Hold on, uh... So I'm. We're not gonna play the whole thing. Yeah, we're just gonna play it a little bit. But I recently acquired this footage that like both me and Profo grew up on. We yes. grew up, and this is some fresh footage. Big ups to Shortcut. Thank you, um, Mikey. I'm not gonna play all of it, but you know parts of what we're working on. Actually, there's like pretty much a, re a you know a return, a resurrection of the Knuckle Neck Tribe and. When we were like 15, 16 years since old. Since 1991. Since 1991, when we heard that name, or when we, we what we're going to show you is what we saw, right? We, what we saw, and we were like, holy shit, this is not like breakdancing, and this is not like MC Hammer, and this is not like NWA. This was just like its own entity, and like really what, what inspired that was the music in the 90s, the early 90s, with the 90s hip-hop, you know what I mean? And I'm not talking about, like, not just what the fucking, was it, L7 shit? Or was it, not L7, fucking, she could boom, stick a boom, boom, and just boom, boom. What? <laughs> fucking, you know, ah, 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 ah. 
Oh, K7. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. They don't know about K7, man. They're, they're pretty yeah, young Yeah, but then there. you know what? They'll say that's 90s hip-hop. And it's not like they're wrong, wrong yeah. because it is. Right. But, but it yeah. was more on the mainstream like release of like, you know, stick your dick in a woman kind of stuff. <laughs> yo, this is like live, yo. Like, I'm as real as I can, right? <laughs> stick a dick in a woman. <laughs> <laughs> if there's children watching, I'm sorry. But, you know, we're crossing all boundaries here. So I'm going to show you, again, like when we were 16, and I'm like having flashbacks right now because, like I said, from watching this, these clips to where we are today yeah. is, is like... This is 1991. These clips are 1991. That's a 20-year journey for us. And just like deciding, like, you know, we didn't even know we were going to be doing this in our lives. You know what I mean? We didn't know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with the whole hip-hop, b-boy, yeah, yeah. break life, you know, rock life, whatever you call it, dance life. Um, it, to for us to get here and from from that point to where we are now, it's like we're we're yeah, we're yeah. telling a whole story and generationally. So right now, I'm gonna lay it on you. Check this out. Can you still hear me, baby? Are we taping? Yeah. Okay. So check this out. This is Knuckle Duck Tribe ninety one. That's DJ Cuber right there. And the Knuckle Neck Tribe. Give a shout out to Dizzy. What up, Dizzy? This is 1991, the West Coast Rock Steady. This is what we call housing. Very different approach. That's Dominique the Prima. She's she's moved on into other media aspects. That's DJ Cuba right there. Damn, you lost weight, buddy. He will be a freestyle session <laughs> this Saturday and Sunday at Club Nokia. Uh oh, knuckle neck. Oh, this is P Kid. He this is P Kid. This guy influenced. He in Wicked. Ramard and myself with the Air Maxes, dog. They wouldn't. Know, they're not getting down like break dancing. Do you understand what I'm saying? They had like a different thing going on. Shadow Posse was DJ Qbert, Apollo, and Mix Master Mike of the Beastie Boys. Yeah, just do it. It's like house dancing and, and hip hop and beat street. <laughs> Look yes. at this guy's hat. <laughs> this guy's hat is nuts. This is 1991, documented. This was home turf, man. We were 16 when we first saw this. Sugar and spice and everything nice hitting the dance floor. Kind of funky. This is, if it wasn't for these guys, no Remind, no Wicked, Wait, no is Myself. Enough? Is that enough for sure to show him one more? Let's come back, let's come back. Well, let's wait for, is this Bayardo? Yeah, Bayardo. Bayardo. Uh-oh. I don't know, I think that's too much for him. 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 That's too much for him. That's too much for him. <laughs> That's too much one. <laughs> and we're back! So, yo, what'd you think? Yeah. Let us know in the chat rooms what you think of the early 90s stuff in the Bay Area. Uh, like I said, you can see how many people were into it in 1991. And I know it wasn't like that. Well, it was like that in L.A., but I know it wasn't like that in New York or anywhere else. 
And this is why they were they were considered the first West Coast rock study, the first chapter outside of New York besides Japan. Right, word. Now back to the music. DJ Flake. <laughs> DJ Push Play. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. If it wasn't for those guys, there would definitely no be be no renegades, no uh, rock force for second generation. Hey, yeah. does anybody want us to give you a call? My phone's not working, but we could call you online. As long as you're in America, we'll give you a call. Check this out. Epicenter B Boy at gmail.com. Uh, inbox me your number and we will call you. <laughs> and we're gonna talk shit to you. <laughs> no, no, not really. But uh, we might give some people a call, see how they feel. Yeah. We got a couple more minutes, so I'm gonna let this mix run. I'm gonna go yeah. take my little smoke break, and um, I'll just let it run. Yeah. Let the music. Yeah, we'll let the music yeah. run. We're just gonna let the music run for a little bit. We're gonna take a little bit break. Well, and we'll be back with the epicenter. I'm gonna stop recording. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? I'm gonna stop recording right now. We'll come back, yeah. <laughs> 